Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, yeah, so I did figure out the gym drive problem. Uh, the problem is it will not work being on a con connected grid like that. It has to be on the main grid, like so. Uh, because of the size of this thing, there's really not much, not many places I can put it. So I put it there for now. Uh, unfortunately, because I don't actually have the resources on me, I can't make any more. But I do plan on putting one more here and one more on the other side. And what I'll do is I'll cut the floor out and have it maybe even flush with the floor so we can get that get that interesting pattern up there just for the sake of it where is it just like that just for the sake of it and yeah but anyways uh, yes we are lined up with what i'm assuming is mars uh, i was thinking about going back to get the other ship but we've drifted about 15, 16 kilometers and i really don't feel like flying back and at the same time too i think i had about 40 percent of the tank so it's and don't, needs to be refilled. Oh yeah, I'm on the bottom. Uh, just so everybody knows, I have blueprinted this in its current state where I moved the jump drive. And yes, it does work. I haven't actually jumped yet, but I do get a prompt now. And yes, I do have the, I do believe I have it all charged up. Just double check. All right, it is all charged. We can jump 1,900 kilometers. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna lower that down because I don't know how far it is. Because uh, I was getting the atmospheric entry warning. So we'll go back here. Uh, it's going to make sense to actually make this its own group just so it's at the top of the list. Right, let's go down to 1,000 kilometers and see what happens. And of course I have to uh, rebind it and get it off of there. And we'll put it back on number one. Jump. All right, so... And then I get this. Yay, it works. First time jumping ever. That's cool. Particle effect. I've never seen this before. I like it. Wow, that is a jump. Okay, it gives, gives me an idea of how big this place is. I was about to say I can't see the moon, but yeah, the moon's there. It's behind all the signals. All right, so that was a thousand kilometers there. So probably gonna go about another five, but I do have to wait for this to charge again. Uh, it is charging at max rate, which is 32 megawatts, and it only used half, so it only it only take three minutes to charge. So with that being said, I will bring you back in three minutes. All right, we're just about ready. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of aim for the light side. Now I'm gonna take the guess that it is about 5,500 kilometers, yeah. Judging by the distance to there, to there. I'm wondering if maybe we should go seven. May as well. It would be nice if there's an easier way to sort of adjust this manually other than going in here and all that. Uh, once you have GPS coordinates set up, you can actually set them on the hot bar. So you don't even have to go through adjust anything. You just jump, hit the button, you jump right to there. All right, let's... Uh, actually, I want to get the first person for this. Because we've seen it in third. Now let's see it in first. Now, the only drawback to this is once it's initiated, you can shut it down and cancel the jump, but you'll lose all the power. That's cool. So that's another 700. Mars must be big. Okay, so uh, let's go. Hmm. Go back in the third. Okay, we're actually pretty close here. Yeah, where's Earth? Wow, it's getting small. I believe. I'll give it another 500 and another 3. Actually, it probably won't take that long. Huh? Now I think about it, because it was only a quarter of a jump, so it's going to take about two minutes. I think what I can do could actually help is because I have the batteries auto charging. Could just di discharge them and charge the drive better, faster, but I'm not too worried about it. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's going to take another minute or two, so I'll be right back. Okay, we are charged and we are jumping. Yes, we'll do that. Go 500. Hoping that's going to be enough. 
you know, I was thinking about how much power I was actually using, like three megawatt hours. It's a lot of power. Did we pass it? We did. All right, so I'll probably go back like another 150. So, yeah, I'll get us a little bit closer, and then uh, I think I'm going to load up on supplies, and we're going to head down there by jetpack. And I did want to bring the ship for this, but that wasn't going to happen. Just because I wasn't going to have enough fuel to actually safely land this thing. Oh, there's ice right there. Perfect. So, yeah, I'll bring you back when we're closer. And here we are. I actually was giving you a warning about being in a gravity well, so that actually worked out pretty good. All right, so let's get out. Let's go take a look at a beautiful new planet. It does look pretty cool. I wasn't expecting this to be Mars because of the fact that it uh, had the blue atmosphere. All right, so um, what I want to do is first let's turn that antenna on. Had to, my magnetic boots wouldn't let go. That's why I'm going to play it now, from now on. Uh, what was I doing? Yeah, antenna. And I, just so I can actually find my ship. Actually, know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do that. We're going to make a parking location. Not only can I jump here, but at least I'll be able to find my ship. Mars 1. Get a space in there. Okay. So now... I can go down to the planet and actually find my ship, Mars 1. Alright, so now let's uh, load up. Uh, let's see, oxygen, now i got to fill that up. I'll probably take the ice with me. Uh, I should be okay, I guess. Take that and that. Uh, so let me get rid some supplies and I'll bring you back for the journey to the surface. Okay, I am just about ready. Uh, I just got to print up a little bit of glass. I had to recycle more power cells because I don't have any silicon because I need computers and all that stuff. And basically, I want to go down there and make sure that I have enough to get like a refinery, an assembler, an H2O2 generator, and possibly some wind turbines and a solar cell, and a battery, of course. And everything should be deconstructed, and that's what I like about the disassembling option. Like you can claim stuff back if you need it. Alright, so it's going to be one, two, three. Missing items, I don't think so. What's going on here? We got silicone. Oh. Disassembly mode. Hee hee hee. So I am going to need a little bit more silicone. That's okay, because I do have power cells I can spare. Uh, I can put up to 46 in here as long as I have enough for one battery. That's all I care about. So this will take a minute. Well, I do believe I'm ready. I'm just going to top up that oxygen bottle. And then I'm going to take half the ice with me. Just so we have it. Alright, so let us go. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get there. I don't know where the gravity well is. I, did, I was thinking about moving the ship, but I uh, will just leave it there. I think we're pretty close to it, because I was trying to jump closer to it, and it was saying I couldn't jump into the gravity well. Uh, as far as jumping home, we might actually be able to make it on one jump, or back to Earth anyways. So anyways, I will bring you back. Alright, I just started entering the gravity well now at about 10 kilometers. So that's not too bad. I could have brought the ship a little closer. But I just want to make sure that I don't lose it and so I have a safe place to jump to. As far as... As far as bringing another ship with me. Well, that's the thing. Is once I'm down there, I can always build another ship to come back up. But I do plan on using the teleportation trick. And uh, as soon as I acquire some silver, we'll be getting a survival kit set up down here too. But anyways, uh, we still got a little ways to go. I got 15k of Atmo to go through, and then how much I got about 4k from the ship, and I realized I had to charge my suit. But I shall return. I should be in atmosphere right now, but that's a nice flat area. 
I like it. And this is the first time I've actually seen these so-called boulders and rocks we've talked about. But apparently they're supposed to be pretty good deposits for it. We shall find out. I still got another 14k to go, so we'll go hit up that unknown signal when we get there. You know, I gotta say, it's actually not as big as I was expecting. That's still a lot bigger than the moon. Uh, we're coming down pretty hot now. It's a good thing I charge up my jetpack too. That'd be like below the last 10% now. Oh, we can hear wind. Cool. Wind turbines. Because I have just enough, just enough glass to make them at the cockpit so I can actually charge myself and that's going to be a number one priority. I want to get that built before I go and start using my grinder to grind that thing down. Ah, we're still ways up there. Okay, and look at that. We're about 47 kilometers away from the ship. So that's not too bad. And... The Madman has landed. I actually like this. This is really cool. I like it. Okay, wow, this is a big hill. Uh, this is the kind of space that I need. My desert, my home away from home, my playground, my sandbox. 1900k away. Alright, this is a good spot, so let's first get some stuff set up. Uh, hmm. What would look good on Mars? Let's get some green out here. Got a nice darker green. I know the moon was supposed to be green, but we never did finish that moon, moon base yet. Uh, sun, which way are you going? Sorry, I gotta stare at the sun for a minute to find out which way it's actually going. No way I can sort. It doesn't matter. Did I even bring it with me? Nope. Left the uranium up in the ship. Of course. Anyways, so I'm just gonna get a few basic things set up and I'll bring you back. Alright, so I'm set set up. Got a assembler. I don't have enough to make a basic uh, the full refinery refinery, but I got a basic, so until we get some iron we can get that because I left all my iron up there, wherever it is. Right there. Anyways, and yeah, and I got the cockpit here and this is just for charging purposes, so I can charge my suit, which is a good thing I do now. Uh, one other thing I gotta do before I forget. And so we don't have oxygen, and it's freezing, surprisingly, even though we're in the sun, is an H2O2 generator, because I do have that ice on me. And look at this, I'm actually starting to remember where all the, all the blocks are. It's like I've played this game before, and I actually brought enough to bring everything with me. Alright, and we'll set this to auto-refill, good. We'll top up that, make sure that's working, and we are good to go. Alright. We'll see what our first goodie on Mars is. It's going to be something like a badger helmet. I did find another one uh, earlier, and I didn't get anything out of it. I haven't found anything really interesting. It's just all common stuff. I don't know if anything rare is going to show up. Is this one underground? Oh, wow. It's a big patch of ice. Watch this one be a warhead. I know it's not. Those things are massive. Oh, good. Just what I need. And... Come on. Give me that button. Oh, these things, man. Oh, I got the rainbow... Think I'm a bobber. I don't care. It's the plates I care about. Free supplies. Alright, here we are. Here we are on Mars. Uh, uh, let's go uh, do a little bit of investigating before we we end this one. Uh, see if we can find some silver at least. Or at least some iron. What's that? Uh, portable rocket. Reloadable rocket launcher. Oh. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. Let's see what we can find. And I just realized I made a stupid mistake. I forgot to mark my base. 
something here apparently. Texture issue. Oh, there we go. Nickel, magnesium, silicon. All right. So we are good. Uh, unfortunately, I have absolutely no way to charge my health. <laughs> well, this will be interesting. I gotta be careful. As I can't make a survival kit until I get silver. But, anyways, we have landed. We are at Mars. I can. I like the flat area. This a lot of a lot of things I can do that don't hinder movement. But you know what? There was something about uh, about these boulders. I remember seeing rocks as I was coming down, and of course I forgot to do it again. Always mark your location. That way you don't get lost. Uh, we'll just call this landing zone. Why not? All right, let's uh, see what we find. Because I remember seeing rocks on the surface and I was like, coming down. They sort of disappeared. You can sort of see them here. But thankfully, I know where to look. It's actually really easy to find resources here. Wow. You always look for the discoloration. See, and what do we have here? Silicon. Okay, good. Silicon, ice. Well, there's plenty of ice everywhere. And we can see our house from here. 45 signals. That's actually pretty good. Considering the fact that I was actually planning on marking every single asteroid out there. Because I was getting so frustrated with not being able to find what I was looking for. The uranium. But I did find it. Unfortunately, I left it back on the ship. But it's not that far away to get to. But I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to do a little bit of looking around. See what else I can find. Right, see those rocks right there, but I go close and disappear. And maybe uh, even get a survival kit set up, and then uh, I guess next episode maybe we'll build something here. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.